Hello, I'm Simon from Whale and I'm going to give you a little overview of the electric bilge pumps. On my right hand side we have the blue pumps and on the left we have the yellow pumps. Now the difference between the two is that the blue pumps are manually activated either through a switch on the dash or on the helm or through a float or sensor that is installed additional to these pumps. The yellow pumps have sensors inside them that automatically activate the pumps and there's also a small level of intelligence in them as well. So we'll start first of all with the blue pumps. We have our Orca and uh, it's available in a 3000 and 2000, a 1300, a 950 and a 500. These are your standard electric bilge pumps um, from very high flow rate down to a lower flow rate. Um, they are connected by flexible hoses and on some of the pumps you will see um, on, the, on the 1300 and on the 950 they are available with a 1 inch and an inch and an eighth bar of outlet and that's so that they are suitable for uh, Europe or the US. When we talk about our automatic pumps we have our Orca 1300 which is your traditional style of bilge pump. It has a sensor on the inside which activates the pump. Um, the sensors that are in all of these pumps I talked about earlier are uh, not just sensors but the circuitry that controls them is smart. So what happens is the motors in all of these products starts up slightly slower than they would in a manually activated system and that means that the motors have less wear over time. They also have built in what we call wave motion protection. So if you have waves of bilge water moving up and down inside your bilge they have to actually be there for a long period of time to activate this. Now when we talk about a long period of time it's about a second because the typical wave motion in the bilge will pass by the sensor in less than that time and that means that these don't turn on and off, on and off, on and off like they would with a float switch. So we've got our typical style and then we've got our niche pumps. So we have a, a manually activated and an automatic super sub. The super subs are available in a 650 and in an 1100. Now when we talk about these pumps and why they're niche it means they get into nice little small spaces underneath a low floor, underneath a low deck, down into a very narrow but deep bilge like in a in a sailboat or something like that where you have the keel. So these pumps are super for getting into those little spaces. They, uh, this is the 1100 super sub. They come with a screw on outlet. The small version has a 3 quarter inch and 1 inch and this is the larger version. It has a 1 inch and 1 1 8 inch output outlet. And inside that outlet we also have our tricuspid non-return valve and that prevents the back flow of water coming down activating and deactivating your pump. You can test our sensors by putting your thumb over the sensor pad and because our bodies are made up of a large majority of water it will activate the pump so that's how you test these pumps. They all come with a manual override wire as well so that um, if you want to run your pump you can just turn it on yourself. Now these are our submersible range. We also have a remote mounted range. So Hopefully everybody has seen and understand the gulper. This is a gulper IC. The gulper IC has a circuit board in the back of it and that connects to the accessory and in this case the accessory is a bilge strainer. So this pump is ideal if you have got a lot of debris in your bilge, a very dirty bilge, um, or if you want to have a pump that runs more regularly uh, because you have quite a bit of water that comes in from, uh, from time to time. So bilge pumps are centrifugal this pump is a diaphragm which means it sucks the water up and then pushes it out. So you can actually mount this pump up on a wall out of the bilge area. You can put it in another section of your boat. As long as this is in the water in the bottom of the bilge, there's a sensor in it that when it um, is submerged it will turn the pump on and it will then pump the water overboard. Now what I must say when we're talking about bilge pumps and selecting the right pump it's very very important that when you're selecting your pump you use the pump selection charts provided by Whale. You'll find those in our catalogs and on our website and that will help you decide what size of pump, what type of pump will suit your application the best. Thanks very much.